Howdy everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you the best builds in Club Retribution Update 1 Part 1. Alrighty, so in my last build video, I did say if we reach 20 likes, I'll make a build video for Update 1. But we only got 18 likes. But, you know, that's close enough, so I decided to make another one. But in this video, I'll give an alternative for all you unlucky people as well. So, you can thank me. For this first build, we have a Strength Mage build. If you watched my last video, you would know this is the same build, but now in this video, it's been revamped. You want to have the Dragon Race or High Orc. High Orc was in the last video. But for, this, for, for Update 1, the Dragon Race would be preferred, as its stats are a lot better than High Orc, giving 10 Con and Strength. 5 plus intelligence, 20% more HP, and 15 resistance to all weapon damage. Yes, that is a lot. But, Kyok is also really good as it gives 10 strength and 30% HP. So, you'll be like a massive tank to, if you, you know, focus Khan. So, yeah. Also, with this build, you're going to want to have Void. So, you want to have Void like you see here. The reason for this is that we're also going to have this paired with Heavenly Restriction. Now, in my last video, I did say I didn't like Heavenly Restriction, but I did realize that it does go really well with this build, and the fact that we're going for a Strength Mage build is amazing for this. Now, you're obviously wondering, what are the stats? Now, let me quickly show you. These are my stats. So, obviously, I'm level 150, so they will be different. So, I have 75 Strength, 40 intelligence and 102 constitution so it i am very tanky i nearly have 1000 hp um yep so let me show you how this build works because you might want to see some gameplay of it so as you can see i'm doing 30 oh jesus 39 damage m1 just with this hammer now let's see the magic abilities that we'll do it against us corrupted so we'll quickly go all right so you can also put a lot more into intelligence um i actually recommend that because with void you're destroying you can destroy heaps of npcs and it's just amazing bro all right the amount of times you can use black holes crazy oh jesus Okay. Nice. Are you, oh, I forgot to say, you can actually use Mana Sheath as well with this. It doesn't use any mana up. That's 9 more damage along with my 39. So that means I'll be dealing like 48 damage altogether just with 1 M1. You're probably wondering, oh, it's strength, dexterity, or swords, or spears are 10 times better because they have right clicks and moves. But what they don't have, let me quickly show you, is block. See, block is extremely good for bosses as bosses will melt through your HP, but with a lot of strength, as you can see here, it will take them a while to break through that, so you're just defending yourself. When you're going up a boss when you're going up against a boss with like a lot, a lot of HP and that does a lot of damage, you're going to know you're gonna wish that you had strength because defending yourself is one of the main things in this game. Alright, now let's get into the cheap alternative or the unlucky alternative. Alrighty. Alrighty, so this is the cheap alternative for the strength mage build. We have Stonekin as our race, Wind as our grimoire, and Noble as our trait. Obviously, you can match and match with the normal strength mage build. You don't have to do this if you're extremely unlucky, but the traits are... I mean, the stats will be different because, I mean, for the last one we were using Heavenly Restriction and now we're using Noble. So this is mainly going to be, like, a magic, magic strength build. So as you can see, look at my new stats. They're different now. We have 15 Strength. We have 77 Intelligence and 65 Constitution. This is, I'd say, very good for this build. And I mean, I've tested it out before. I used to play with this a lot and, I mean, it is very strong. Hit me, let's quickly test this out. So, M1 damage is now 21. That's still really good. Oh, wait. I just, oh, no, okay. 
Okay, I thought I was heavily restriction. It's actually really good. 21 damage. So I did something wrong. Alright. 21 damage, that's really good. Now, for wind, you're probably wondering, oh, some of the moves are really bad. Like, I mean, let's do, for example, that move. It's alright. Now, let's do this one. Okay, that did 34 damage. Now, these moves are act these moves are really good, but they do take up a bit of uh, mana, so you do want to have a bit in constitution like I had. Um, okay, let's test this with mana sheath actually real quick. But this is mainly like, this build's damage will mainly come from the magic. Now, for this next part, I'm going to show you the tornado. So I'm going to show you how strong it is. Look, 11.6 tick damage. They usually can't get out of it. If you go up to them and keep hitting them, they, they physically cannot get out of it. They can't hit you. Nothing. Nope. Nothing. Let me just show you some more. I quickly put the Gale Vortex. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong ability. Yeah. Keep him in there. Gale Vortex is the shield. So, if I can get this guy to damage me. The shield is really good. And the more in I'm pretty sure the more intelligence you have in it, the more the shield you get. So, I'm taking no damage. So, I'm literally like immune right now. Okay, it broke. But, see how powerful that is? And just mixing, mixing that with strength just makes it even better even better so that's the unlucky alternative for the strength mage build let's get on to the next build alrighty this next build is for all you mana loving people now yes this build was also in my last video but it has been revamped so the main mage build or just the mage build now for this build I recommend to only have high elf as it is the best race for magic builds giving 5 plus intelligence, 15% more mana and 12% more magic damage. We also have monstrous reserves as it gives 50% more mana but you can use love of divine mana as, it, as well because you know love by mana amazing. Also the magic we'll be using is world tree as it is the highest damage magic in the game I think at the moment but it is also a really good support if you have four leaf you can also use void or blood as those are really good strong grimoires for this build nothing's really stopping you here are my stats 20 dexterity just for sword damage obviously 102 intelligence and 60 constitution our main focus is our intelligence and I would actually rather to put more into intelligence like take out a bit of out of constitution but you know we also do have a bit of hp here 655 that's really good for this build as we're not focusing on being tanky we're focusing on doing a lot of damage with magic now that's the sword damage right there okay vernon vortex this is 62 damage and that's just with the tornado ability which is so good holy crap all right and i actually want to quickly check something mana sheath damage Oh my, oh my goodness, you're doing 27 damage with the mana sheath. Jesus Christ, alright, let's check world root now. I don't know how much damage that did, but I feel like it did a, a lot. Let's check it again. Oh, 51 damage. Alright, now let's try this move. Nice, we've got this one stuck, so can quickly mess them up now i'm gonna take a bit of damage another good thing about well tree like i said before it's a really good support if you have four leaf and this is really good with the new dungeon that has just been added as you can't heal when you get out of combat it's one of the main things that i've seen people using now because well tree has just become a necessity as it's four leaf move is so good all right let's quickly use it here so it has a massive zone obviously we're healing 16 HP a tick. So obviously I'm kind of sucking right now. Let's quickly use this tornado ability. Wait, wait, wait. Tornado ability now. There we go. Also use that. It does last a long time, which makes this a lot better than just being a normal healer. It's just amazing. Now, I'm going to do the unlucky alternative for the mage build. So, let's get right into that. Alrighty. This is the cheap alternative for the mage build. 
like I've said before, you can mix and match these builds. They don't need to be the exact same in this video. To start off, we have Hybrid Elf as our race. This is because it gets 2 plus intelligence, 2 plus dex, 5% more dex damage, 5% more mana, and increase mana by a flat plus 3, and increase regen by 10. We also have Noble as our trade for obvious reasons, and we also have Flame for our Grimoire. The Grimoire for this build doesn't exactly matter as we can use Wind as well. Flame is honestly extremely good, I would have to say. Max Gaia. So the base damage is still good. Um, also the stats are the exact same. So nothing has changed as you can see right here. We have 22 dex, 104 um, intelligence, and 60 constitution. What I would recommend though, because this is a cheap alternative, I would recommend putting like... 70 into constitution a bit less into intelligence obviously having that the highest in your stats maybe a bit more into dexterity because um you know cheap alternative isn't doesn't mean it's the best now i'm going to show some of the magic moves off in a second oh jesus see the damage still the same basically okay now flame scatter shot one of my favorite moves for grinding six damage it's that is a bit less but as you can see, it does aimbot them or kind of like that. It just keep shooting at them, which is really good for grinding. I don't think it actually has a cap. It can just target any enemy in the area. And as you can see, it explodes. I didn't get to see the damage, but um, yeah. All right, we'll use Flame Tower on both of these guys. And I'll show you. Actually, I'll just use it on the one guy. Show the damage real quick. So 23 damage a tick. And it's a tornado type thing. So kind of like um, Well Trees tornado ability as well so now i'm gonna try the um the flame thrash let's quickly whip this thing out so it's like a flame thrower look at that damage bro that that damage is crazy also we shouldn't forget the fact that i'm pretty sure all flame abilities apply a fire ticking damage which is also really good so as you can see that basically killed him vermilion blaze main or could we use this on this guy this is the newest ability by the way so it's actually a four leaf but oh my gosh that melts that melts yes it is the new ability and i'm gonna say it's extremely good like holy crap quickly i'll see if i can try to do a combo so we'll put down the flame that we'll put down that knock them into there you're basically just overpowered also the fact that we have 610 mana which is a decent amount for flame i mean i'm pretty sure flame does use a lot of your mana up we'll clearly just check so i know yeah flame thrash uses a heap um also really bad thing about flame is that the cooldowns are extremely long so that's why i was saying you might want to put a bit more into dexterity because, you know, the cooldowns are very long. Except for the four leaf. The four leaf is surprisingly really short for how strong it is. Alrighty. Thank you for watching the video and getting all the way to the end. If you did get all the way to the end, comment down below your favorite build and the build you'd like to see.